Welcome to Baseball Pro's uh, video analysis. Up here we have Mike Lowell, former World Series MVP. Uh, played about 15 years or so in the major leagues. Had a heck of a career. Um, this is a game swing from spring training. I'm not sure what year, uh, but we're going to break them down frame by frame and and uh, check out some things here. This is a really, really solid swing. I use this a lot in comparing uh, other hitters and showing them what to do instead of what not to do. This is an example of what to do. And then when you compare this to uh, to your swing or, or another swing next to it, uh, you can really see the differences and it really illustrates some things for young hitters. So first of all, we're going to look at Mike's stance. Uh, you know, very uh, balanced uh, and aggressive. Hitting a baseball is an aggressive athletic move. Requires a short, explosive weight shift. And in order to, to execute that move, uh, you need to have flexion in your knees. Uh, you need to be in a good athletic position uh, as you would be guarding a point guard in basketball or uh, being a linebacker in baseball uh, or football, excuse me. Uh, he's got flexion in his arms. Uh, he is, uh, he's locked and loaded, in other, in other words. He's, he's, ready, he's ready to attack. Uh, the next thing we're going to go into here, uh, what we call the launching position. Uh, the pitcher's in his windup. The pitcher's delivering. And uh, you can see how he's starting to get to what we call stride separation. And that's where you are when your front foot lands and your hands are back and loaded. But there, that right there is called stride separation. In order to have a whip-like effect where you can really drive the bat head forward at the baseball, you need to get that stride separation. And I'm going to take it back just a little bit here. Uh, I, want, I want you just to notice, young hitters, how, how his hips and legs cock. That left leg comes up, but he's not diving forward with that. He's using that as a timing mechanism to put the weight where? On his back foot, yet his knees are still inside his feet. He's still under control of his legs and his body, but he's making a, an aggressive uh, move to the ball with his lower half. Again, uh, and he achieves that. That foot comes down. Hands are cocked. He has a stride uh, with his front foot. A little bit more than 45 degrees. Uh, if there's one thing about this swing that I don't love, uh, it's that. But who am I to t say that I don't love this swing because uh, it's Mike Lowell, one of the best hitters of all time. But uh, we want to teach, you know, having your foot more closed off when you stride, at least in practice. In the game, it's going to automatically open up depending on where the pitch is. But we want to get in the habit of being square. But as you, but what you... What I, what I want you to see about this, though, is once that foot landed there, there's no leak. He uses that foot to post up against his backside, which is driving forward. That foot doesn't land open and then spin. It, land opens and, it lands open and stops so that the next move, after he gets the stride separation, is what I call release. Separate, then release, or separate, then explode, whatever you want to say. But the next move is a, is a drive. With his, with his backside, his hands, and his hips staying connected and driving to the baseball, moving together, moving together. And now we get to the point of contact. And when you get to the point of contact on this swing, I mean, you really can't draw it up any better. You have a, a strong first, a front side, a blocked off front side. He's released his backside through the ball. Um, his head is right behind the barrel of his bat, right on the baseball. His hands are palm up, palm down at contact. You, you really can't draw it up much better than that. One thing I did miss, his hand path to the ball. I want you guys to watch this. Most swings are won and lost in one of two ways. Number one, you're not ready on time. You're not to the launching position on time. You're getting there late, then you jump and rush, and things get all out of whack. The number two reason that swings are lost is the first four inches. You, when you lose this barrel with your hands in the first four inches, you're in a lot of trouble. You can't get it back. And what I mean by that is a lot of times we dropped our hands and we that barrel drops. And once that barrel drops, you're below the ball. All you can really do is kind of buggy whip it to get it back over, and it creates a lot of topspin. Balls don't fly over people's heads when you hit them, when you hit with topspin. Uh, so I wanted to point that out about this swing. His first move, once he lands, his hands drive right to the baseball. That top hand, that barrel does not get lost. There he goes right to contact. After contact, what you have is extension through the ball. 
and you get to the point of extension. And a good major league hitter has about six feet of extension from his shoulders to the end of the bat, maybe five, depending on how big he is. Mike Stanton with the Marlins probably has six, six and a half. Uh, but right there, it's the point where you've driven through the ball, and you've you you have your arc has not broken down. You haven't cut your swing off. You're extending through the baseball, and that's a perfect example of it right there. And then you finish, uh, finish through it, and he can walk right out of that stance. Very balanced, great athletic position, and behind the ball, and he goes to run the bases after hitting that line drive. Uh, this is a, just a solid swing all the way around. And uh, every time I look at it and break it down, it, there's so many things positive to show young hitters with this. Great athletic position to review in his stance. Gets to the launching position by cocking his hips and hands, using his lower half in an aggressive athletic move to the baseball. He doesn't lose his barrel. The first four inches are right down. Uh, his hips and hands stay connected. His head's on the ball at contact. Good, strong position. Drive through to extension and finish balanced and behind the ball. Doesn't get much better than that, gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was beneficial to you. Uh, take care. Keep in touch.